Are you ready? Okay, this one now, now go sing up. Hosanna. Come on. Say, give me a chance. Give me a chance. Say, I don't want to match your leg by mistake. Who are there? I hear say now, but the people they dance pass for the whole southwest. Not true. When I go prove on this night, tell your neighbor, neighbor, no darling. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, yeah, let me see your handkerchief. Hey. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, look at me. Look at me. And you will see what God is doing. Tell your neighbor, look at me. Oh. Now me, now me, now me, now me. Oh yeah. Swing your hand, chief. In the air. In the air. In the air. Ha, ha, ha. Everybody look at see what the Lord has done for me. Everybody look and see what the Lord has done for me. Everybody look at see what the Lord has done for me. Everybody look at see what the Lord has done for me. Everybody look at see what the Lord has done for me. Everybody look come on and see. Come on. Everybody look at me. Come on. And tell me what you see. Let me see you there.
Come on, give him praise over there. Daddy. Lift up your voice unto on, the son. ancient of days. He is worthy. If you know Jesus loves you, wave your hands to him. Wave it over there. Wave it over there. Wave it over there. Give him praise. Wave give him praise. To him. Today is the 26th Come day. Come on, wave your hands. Don't stop. Come on, give him praise. If you know there is no God like your God. Yes, there is none like my God. The one who brought you from last year. Yes, Magabos. Into January, now we are in the month. Come and give me praise over there. Lift up your hands to watch the And it will take you till the end of this year. Yes, surely. Wave your hands to him. Wave your hands. He's your protector. He will take you through. Wave your hands. Yes, Father, we lift you high. He will buy, I will Lift up your hands and worship God. The Lord there is none like him. There is he none like him. Somebody lift your hands. Oh, oh. Let it work you around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, We have come to worship you. Give him praise Come tonight. on. Come on. Somebody say, To the laws of laws, the omnipotent reigneth, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the lily of the valley, the rose of Sharon, the bright and the morning star. Come and lift up your hands over there and worship him. Give him praise over there. Give him praise. Give him praise. He is worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy of our praises. He's worthy to be exalted. Is worthy to be magnified. Is beyond description. Is our God. Is our Lord. Lift up your hands unto the heavens. Lift up your hands and wave it unto the Lord. Give him praise because it's worthy. Our God is worthy. Is worthy to be praised. Is the greater that is greater than the greatest. Is the Lord that is above all. He is God beyond description. He is our Heavenly Father. Lift up your hands wherever you are there. And begin to say, Lord, I give you praise. I give you praise tonight. I worship you tonight. I magnify you tonight. Because you are my God. You are my Father. You are my Savior. You are my Savior. You are my Savior. You are my father. Come and give him praise. Adore him. Lift up your hands. And lift it up unto him. Lift it up unto the heavens. Lift it up unto the king of kings. Lift it up unto the ancient of days. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy to be praised. 
is worthy to be exalted. He is worthy to be magnified. He is worthy beyond description. Father, we give you praise tonight. Make sure that as you connect, begin to lift up your hands to the heaven. Thank him for who he is. Thank him because he is our God. Thank you because it's God that can never fail. Thank you because it's God that is beyond the description of man. Thank you because it's God that reigns above all. Thank you because he is the one, the beginning and the ending. Thank you because he's the first and the last. Thank you because he is God over all things. He reigns, he rules, he's above all, he's above all. He's above all. He's above all. Father, we give you praise tonight. We adore you. We magnify you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I don't want to quickly admonish you to please share this as you connect. You know, tonight is the 26th night of this 30 prophetic night of uncommon mercy. We have been enjoying God on this platform beyond description. God has used his servants, his prophets, his beloved for us on this platform. And tonight is not going to be an exception. What I'm telling you is that what God will do tonight will be beyond description. How God is going to move tonight will be beyond explanation. He is our God. You can't predict his power. You, let me tell you one thing. You can't predict the power of God. What he did last night, you can't predict or evaluate or try to measure up to what he will do tonight. Because our God is unpredictable. He's not limited by anything. He's not restricted by any situation. He's unstoppable. Oh my God, our God is unstoppable. I want you to know that you have come to me with the Lord that cannot be stopped by any power because his power is above all. I don't know what has been baffling your mind. I don't know what you are going through. But I want to assure you that you have a God that is beyond your problems. You have a God that is beyond your situations. You have a God that is beyond what you are going through at this moment. He is not limited by any circumstances. My God that I'm talking about, your God that you have connected with tonight, is not limited by any circumstances. It's not limited by any situation. It's beyond description. I don't know why I kept repeating that. That is beyond any situation. It's beyond description. It's beyond the calculation of men. Our God is above all. I just feel like giving a kind of oratorium to God tonight. To exalt and uh, uh, lift his name on high. Beyond the understanding of men. Our God is good. Our God is marvelous. Our God is glorious. Our God is beautiful. Our God is great. Our God is indescribable. Our God is inexplicable. Our God is wonderful. Oh my God, he is the Eshadai. He is the Elohim. He is our Rafa. He is our Shalom. He is our Nisi. He is our God. Come and lift up your hands over there and wave it unto the Lord. Wave it unto the Lord. Wave it unto the Lord. It's just too good. This God is just too good. It's too good to you. It's too good to me. It's been so good all along. Throughout, it's been so good. No matter what you're going through, I have a God that is too good. I have a God that is too good. It's just too good. He is too good. Lift up your hands. You haven't done that. Just lift him up. You are not obeying me, but you are lifting up your king. You are lifting up your father. You are raising your hands to the one who created you. 
The Bible said he is our creator. He made those we did not make ourselves. That is Psalm 100. We are the sheep of his pasture. Oh my God, lift your hands up. Let God un- know, acknowledge that you appreciate him. Lift your hands to the heavens. Lift your hands to praise him. He is our God. He is our Lord. You are too good, Lord. You are too good. You are so good. You are excellent. You are marvelous. You are glorious. You are beautiful. You are great. You are great. You are great. I don't know someone there. Maybe God wants to accustate your victory in this praise. Make sure you lift up your hands. Make sure you lift up your voice. Make sure you say, Lord, you are too good. You are so good. You are marvelous. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your name. We adore you tonight. We give you praise tonight. We say thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Lord, as we go before your presence tonight, as we open the scripture, and as we lift up our voices unto you, Lord, in our our prayer tonight, that you will listen to our meditation, that you will acknowledge all our requests, that you will answer all our petitions in the mighty name of Jesus, that by the uncommon mercy of you, that you will bail us out by your uncommon mercy, we will enjoy the supernatural by your uncommon mercy. We will be relocated into our promised land by your uncommon mercy. We shall be endowed tonight in the name of Jesus. We shall be endowed tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You know, I I want you to understand that, you know, you have not come to meet anyone on this platform. Listen to me. You have not come to meet anyone on this platform. You have come to meet with the Lord. Tonight is a date with destiny. Listen to me. Tonight meeting is a date with destiny. It's a date with your maker. It's a date with your creator. It's a date with your God, your father. And if he is your father, there's nothing that he cannot do. I don't know the challenges that you are facing at this point in time. I don't know the, the what has befallen you. But I can assure you that because you are here tonight, that God in his infinite mercy, God in indescribable power, in his omnipotent power, in his omnipresent power, in his omniscient power, he will appear for you in the name of Jesus. Can I tell this to someone? Mark Epostoloria. I declare by the uncommon mercy of God, where you have failed, where you have failed in the past, where you have become zero in the past, by the uncommon mercy of God, I release grace upon your life. I release grace upon your life that at that particular junction, where you have failed, where you have been disappointed, at that particular junction, Receive your celebration back. The people that have despised you, the people that have said negative things to you, they will come back to celebrate you. For someone watching me on this platform, I declare they will come back to celebrate you. Oh my God, maybe in your ministry, maybe in your church, maybe in your working place, maybe in your marriage, maybe in your in your home. Everything is not as it's supposed to be. Everything is upside down. But I stand as the oracle of God. And I declare into your life that God will step in. I declare God will step in. I want you to write it, type in there. God will step in. He will step in into my home. Wherever you need God to step in. By the uncommon mercy of the Lord. 
God will step in. He will step in into your business. He will step in into your ministry. He will step in into your life. He will step in into the life of your children. In the mighty name of Jesus, he will step in. Our God will step in. In the name of Jesus. You know, I, I feel like in my spirit tonight, I feel like I just need to continue to declare into the life of God's people. You know, I feel like the, the just, just declaring into your life. You know, because I know that your life need a touch. And in much words, in much declaration, it will be done for you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to know that God so much loved you that he said in his word that I wish above all things that you prosper as thy soul prospereth. The Lord is pleased with your prosperity. The Lord is pleased with your celebration. The Lord is happy with your victory. The Lord is glad that when you are above, when you win, God doesn't take pleasure in your failure because it doesn't glorify God. It takes pleasure in your victory. And that is why because of his uncommon mercy, he will take pleasure in your testimony tonight in the name of Jesus. Affirm it to yourself and say it. God takes pleasure in my victory. God takes pleasure in my victory. There is no father that will want his, his, his child or his children to cry. I've never seen any father that will be happy that his children are crying. I've never seen such. If an earthly father can be so happy with his children, how much more God that is not limited in power? How much more God that is not limited in resources? How much more God that is unlimited? Oh my God, I want you to say it and declare it. God is happy with my victory. God is glad that I am victorious. God is glad that I have breakthrough. God is glad that I, I prosper always. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh my God, I feel like declaring the more. That's something I want to share with you. But I feel like declaring into your life that as from tonight, listen to me and listen very well. As from tonight, every step you take, you are taking it into the grace of uncommon mercy. Every step that you will take, you are taking it into the grace of uncommon mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release your destiny to be relocated, to be transported, to be repositioned under the covering of uncommon mercy. Listen to me. Your destiny, your home, your life, your ministry, your calling, your church, your marriage, everything that pertains to you is transported, is relocated, is repositioned under the grace of uncommon mercy. Type in there, I receive it. I receive it. Listen, I feel like declaring again. I feel like declaring again. Where men struggle, listen to me. Where people that you know struggle, at the junction where people always struggle, in the name of Jesus, by the power of creation, by the power that made the heavens and the earth, I declare into your life that struggle is taken away from your life. You will enjoy uncommon mercy to prosper at that junction. You will enjoy uncommon mercy to be celebrated at that junction. You will enjoy uncommon mercy for your celebration to be declared by heavens in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of, don't forget to share this. You can share as many times as possible. I want to appreciate you for connecting. But don't forget that you can start a watch party. You can share this on your timeline. And you can invite, invite your friend to connect with us. There's something that is going on presently. And I felt in my spirit that I should speak about this. And I should make some declaration. 
we are not coming on this platform, you know, to preach on common mercy that you don't have impute. Listen to me. Listen and listen very well. You know, the, the perception of a lot of people, the, they are, they are, whenever they talk about uncommon mercy, what they think is you do nothing and you are just up there. You know that you just woke up and woke up into millions. That's not the uncommon mercy we are preaching on this platform. We are talking about what God is going to bless. What God will bless in that your hand. That little in your hand. That insignificant thing in your hand. When the uncommon mercy move over it, it will change. It will become global. It will become the most sought for. That everyone will begin to look for you. Because you enjoy the grace of uncommon mercy. Listen to me. The uncommon mercy will speak on this platform. It's not for gambling. Listen. It's not for I want to make it clear. The uncommon mercy we are declaring on this platform. It's not for money doubling. Neither is it for Yahoo Yahoo. No. The uncommon mercy. And that is why I'm going to read this place. In the book of Exodus chapter 31 from verse 1. The uncommon mercy we are declaring on this platform. Is what is legal. What is orchestrated by God. You know if God lifts people up. There will be something that people will see. Something will be attached to it. The lifting of Jacob was in overnight. Listen to me. He enjoyed uncommon mercy. But it's, he, he didn't just wake up, woke up and, the, uh, uh, and all the, the animals were there. No, it was one after the other. The Lord blessed his work. And his work began to increase. It began to increase where men are failing. And I remember in the book of Genesis, the life of Isaac, when people were moving away from that land, the Lord said Isaac should stay, even in times of famine. You know, God can do what no man can do. But there must be something in your hand. Listen to me. <laughs> the uncommon mercy we are talking about on this platform is that that little in your hand will receive grace to expand and explode. We receive grace to expand and explode. We receive grace to be global. We receive grace that it will attract men of significance. Men that will lift you up. Men that will help your destiny. That little in your hand by uncommon mercy will receive the grace that it will surprise you what the Lord will do with it. It will surprise you what the Lord will do with it. Let's quickly read this place. Don't forget as you connect, come and share this. Share it, share it, invite your friends. Share this. I want you to share it. I want you to share it and start a watch party for it. Share it. Exodus chapter 31 verse 1. Exodus chapter 31 verse 1. Then the Lord spoke to Moses saying, See, I have called by name Bezazel, the son of Hor, the son of Hor, and the, of the tribe of Judah. There are, no, in, in, in Israel, we have 12 tribes. You know, we have 12 tribes. We have 12 tribes. You know, and these 12 tribes, God called out some people from one tribe. God called out some, some people received, even in that tribe, not all of them. Listen to me. Not all of them receive uncommon mercy. Just some set of people among the people that will receive uncommon mercy in your family, in your working place, in this country. You are counted among one of them in the name of Jesus. I declare you are one of them. Among the people that will enjoy uncommon mercy tonight, I declare in the name of Jesus, you are one of them. No, I want you to say it and declare it. I even want you to type it on this platform. Among the people that will enjoy uncommon mercy tonight, I am one of them. 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 
I am one of them. You know one thing? God doesn't work with multitudes. He doesn't work with multitudes. He will single out some people. God always showcases power with selected few. Oh my God. Among the selected few tonight, I declare in the name of Jesus, you are one of them. Among the selected few, among the selected few, among the selected few, that we enjoy the grace of speed in the, in, in the global enlargement. Listen, among the selected few that we enjoy the speed in the global business, you are one of them tonight. I say you are one of them. I declare you are one of them. Uncommon mercy made you a choice. Oh my God. Uncommon mercy tonight will make you the choice. You're going, to be, you, you're going to be the choice set person. Yes, that will receive global expansion. In the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know whether you, are, you know what I'm talking about. I mean when God decides to use the foolish things of this world. To announce your destiny. Oh my God, I don't know whether you understand it. The foolish thing that people thought could not land you anywhere. That little thing in your hand that people thought it cannot amount to anything. And God just turn it around and don't go redefine it. And the people begin to knock on your door and say, yes, it's you. You say, what have I done? We are just looking for you. We just want to celebrate you. We just want to bless you. I had a man of God one day, one of our renowned pastors in the UK. And I said, one of the sisters in the gospel you know, line released a short clip. It wasn't an album. Listen to me. A short clip. Just one track song that he just went into one studio. He didn't take all, she didn't take all her instrumentalist there to you know to, to, to you know to play that song. It was just him and one keyboardist. And she sang that song. She sang that song. And the man of God said immediately she had that song. She said, this one must not just go without sowing a seed. And he said he picked his phone and called that sister. This song, you know, it, there was no guitar in this song. There was no drums in this song. There was no backups in this song. It was just only her. Oh my God. That is the kind of thing I'm talking about tonight. That that little thing, that insignificant thing, that thing that people will say, ah, what has he said? What are what can no, just, is it not just ordinary this thing? I declare in the name of Jesus that the hand of uncommon mercy of the Lord will be stretched into your life and turn your life around in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible told us about this particular tribe, and it singled out two people from here. Beza, the son of Huri, and the son of Hor, of the tribe, just one person, and of the tribe of Judah. I have filled him with the Spirit of God. Listen to me. God is not interested in your foolishness. God is not interested in you being a mediocre. God is not interested in you having nothing to offer. God is interested in you because he's going to shower wisdom. He will shower you with understanding. He will shower you with knowledge. That when you open your mouth, people will begin to look at you and say, where, where is this one coming from? Is, is, is this person, you know, is he living amongst us? Is he from Nigeria? Is this person from the U.S.? Is it from the U.K.? Is it from Canada? For everyone on this platform, I release grace on common mercy to endow you with wisdom, with understanding, with knowledge. They were endowed. This particular person was endowed. He received on common mercy. Out of many people, out of lots of people that are into that art, that are into that art, that are into that artistic works. God singled that person out. The same thing God can do that for you. 
God can single you out after the many you know, professionals in your office. You can be among the people that God will single out. He singled them out. I have filled them with the Spirit of God in wisdom, in understanding, in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship to design artistic works to work in gold, in silver, in bronze, in cutting jewels for settings, in carving wood, and to work in all manner of workmanship. And I indeed, I have appointed him, Heliab, the son of Aishamak, a tribe of Dan, and I've put wisdom in the art of all the gifted artisans. Look at look at what a common mercy can do. Uncommon mercy will do what it will, it will spill on you the wisdom, the mystery, the, the knowledge, the understanding that this world needs. You know one thing in this pandemic time, in this time that we have, this is the one of the times that God always showcases his supremacy over the over the earth. God always God has always, according to history, according to history, God always used this kind of scenario, this kind of situation to lift some people up, to bless some people, to endow some people. It's people that have that has the, the, the solution that people will run to. And God can make you a solution. Listen to me. Because of the uncommon message of the Lord, God will make you a solution. No, I want you to declare it because of the uncommon message of the Lord. I become a solution. I become a solution in my world. I become a solution in my working place. I become a solution in my country. I become a solution wherever I step. I become a solution. They were endowed. They were endowed. I told you, Uncommon mercy we speak on this platform is not for money doubling. Listen, if you are if you are into act of money doubling, you don't unless you go and repent. We don't do money doubling here. There's something that God will bless before God Jesus will showcase his authority over the over the fish of the sea. Peter was a fisherman. Jesus didn't just conjure, you know. Fishes to come forth. There was an act that will that will precede or that will follow when an act is, is executed, the blessing will now follow. If there's no act, there can't be any blessings. If there's no act, there can't be any blessing. You have to do something, but when you receive uncommon mercy, that little will bring out so much. So much, so much, so much. So we are not here for Yahoo Yahoo. We are not here for gambling. We are not here to rob people or illegally amass wealth. No, that's not what we are talking about. We are talking about the spirit of God. That God will breathe his spirit over you. That God will put a wisdom in your life over you. We put a spirit of understanding to understand the time, to understand the age, to understand how where things are going, and it will put you at the point of breakthrough when you receive a common mercy. Wow, I know my time will not be will not be enough, but let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing. There are some declarations I want you to make tonight. Because you need uncommon mercy in every area of your life. You, if you want to prosper, if you want to rule your world, if you want to be the champion, if you want to showcase the glory of God, you need uncommon mercy. There is no how you can enjoy grace without being favor of the Lord. Without the uncommon mercy of the Lord envelop your life. No, how do you want how do you want people to you know to distinctly single you out? There's something that must be crying over, you know, that must be crying for blessing over your life. 
you know, uncommon mercy can be a voice crying and say yes. This is my son <laughs> over Jesus Christ. He went to be baptized. And the Bible said, and a voice came from heaven and said, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. There was a declaration in heaven that everything must be subjected to his voice. Listen to me tonight. I command your destiny. I command you in the name of Jesus that I speak over your life. The voice of uncommon mercy. I speak it over your life. Every creation of the earth, every creation of God, they will hear you. They will obey you in the name of Jesus. God said, hear ye him. There was a grace that has covered his destiny. There was a grace that cannot be described. I'm talking about grace that cannot be analyzed. I'm talking about the grace that makes people to just favor you without doing anything. The grace still works. God still singled his people out. What we are reading in the scripture are not stories or fables. They are real life experience. Listen to me. We are not here to just cajole you or anything. We are telling you of what we know. What I know personally. I'm telling you about how God can single underly have mercy on you. And single you out. And bless I am, a, I am an example of someone that enjoy uncommon mercy. I'm not talking about something that I've not enjoyed myself. I have enjoyed it over and over, over and over. Let me share this with you. When the Lord told me or told us to relocate to this side of the country that we have, there was particular something that I've been looking for, that I've been, that I've been believing God for. Immediately, I heard the voice of the Lord and I obey. God opened that door for me. <laughs> God opened that door for me. And sometimes when I look at myself, I say, how did I come about this thing? How did I become the only person in this vicinity? But God made me to understand that it is because he has released his grace of uncommon mercy over me. Listen to me. When God releases his grace of uncommon mercy over you, you are going to be a mystery to the people of the world. Your life will become a mystery. Your life will become, you will become a mystery. People will begin to look at you. They will begin to ask you questions. The question they will ask you, you yourself, you won't even be able to, to answer it. Because you don't know how it works. This is the kind of uncommon message that I'm talking about. The uncommon message that you yourself cannot tell people how it works. You don't understand how it works. Because God has repositioned your life to enjoy it. You just, you just find yourself under that canopy. Listen to me. I release your destiny. Listen to me. I release your destiny under the canopy of uncommon mercy that you yourself will not be able to analyze. That you yourself will not be able to understand. That you yourself will not be able to calculate. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. You know, when you are talking about uncommon mercy, you know, when uncommon mercy speak over your life, judgment will be cancelled. Listen to me. I want you to declare every evil judgment against my life. Uncommon mercy. Cancel them tonight. Every evil judgment. Uncommon mercy. Cancel them tonight. When uncommon mercy speak over your life, evil judgment is cancelled. Evil judgment is overturned. Evil judgment is thrown away. Evil judgment is trashed. And you will enjoy grace that no one in your family has ever enjoyed before. Listen to me. When uncommon mercy speaks, attack will be stopped. Attack will be stopped. People that are attacking your life before, you no, know, they will just say, why are we attacking this person? They will not begin to favor you. Listen to me. 
because you are watching me tonight, I release grace for every attacker of your life to come and serve under you. Listen to me. When God has not lifted you, with, uh, 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 has not visited you with uncommon, people will strive with you. Something must be distinct in your life. For people that have ridiculed you in the past, or people that have attacked your destiny in the past, to bring them back and begin to serve you, they can serve you. They did that to Joseph. The person that put him in prison, when the, the uncommon message of the Lord took him out from the prison into the palace, the person that sent him to prison, he came, he bowed down, he worshipped Joseph, he served under Joseph. He served under Joseph. He served under Joseph. Joseph didn't retaliate because he's above. So never have the mind of retaliation. Never have a mind of what? Of retaliation. Because when God will lift you up by the uncommon mercy, people that have despised you, they will now come under you to serve. They will come under you to serve. When uncommon mercy speaks, you know, in the absence of hope and uh, in the absence of hope, hope will come alive. In the absence of favor, favor will come alive. In the absence of poverty, riches, riches and wealth will come alive. Because you are enjoying something that is uncommon. You are enjoying something that is uncommon. I want you to declare uncommon mercy. Open the door of favor for me tonight. Uncommon mercy. Open the door of favor. Wow, I have eight minutes. Uncommon mercy. Open the door of favor for me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare tonight. Uncommon mercy. Open the door of favor. Open the door of favor. Open the door of favor. Uncommon mercy. Open the door of favor. Oh, yes, for me. For my business, for my ministry, for my calling, for my marriage, for my children. Oh, come on, mercy. Open the door of favor. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Open the door of favor. Oh, come on, mercy. Open the door of favor. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Door of favor. Hear the voice of the Lord. Because of the uncommon message of the Lord. Be opened. Help Father. Be opened. Help Father. Be opened. Help Father. Be opened. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus we pray. Genesis chapter 9 verse 6. The Bible told us of how the Lord, you know, let, let me quickly say, say, be, beloved, the Lord shall look upon down in the cloud and remember his everlasting covenant with you and show you mercy all around. Because of uncommon mercy, his attention will be focused on you. I want you to declare, Lord, by uncommon mercy, let all the hosts of heaven, let their attention be focused on me. In the name of Jesus, when your time comes under the uncommon mercy, under the grace of uncommon mercy, every creation will focus on you. I want you to declare, in the name of Jesus, the whole creation of God, hear the voice of the Lord, because it's my time. Let them focus on me. Let all attention be shifted towards me. Let all attention be shifted towards me. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to quickly do something. My time is gone. But I want you to do something. I told you about God endowing some people with divine wisdom with divine understanding and with divine knowledge. Lord, I want you to pray by uncommon mercy. I enjoy divine wisdom. I enjoy divine knowledge. I enjoy divine understanding. I am endowed with divine knowledge, with divine understanding, with divine wisdom. Come and declare it by uncommon mercy. I enjoy divine wisdom. 
I enjoy divine understanding. I enjoy divine knowledge in the name of Jesus. Yes, my knowledge expand. My knowledge expand. My wisdom enlarge. My understanding expand in the name of Jesus. By uncommon mercy of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to declare by uncommon mercy of the Lord. Just stretch forth your hands. I want to make some declaration. Stretch forth your two hands. In the name of Jesus, by uncommon mercy, I command your destiny. I command your life to move from zero to hero level. In the name of Jesus, that nobody, that nobody, it will move you from nobody to somebody, from zero to hero. In the name of Jesus, 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 Margaret of Son Tolebra, I command your destiny because of uncommon message of the Lord. You are moved from zero level to hero level. In the name of Jesus, Margaret of Oz, because of uncommon message of the Lord, your life will attract favor. You shall become meaningful. In the name of Jesus, because of the uncommon mercy of God, doors of goodness and mercy that has been shut against your destiny, I command them to be opened. He said, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up your everlasting doors. Because of the uncommon mercy of the Lord, every door that has been shut against your destiny, every door that has been shut against your life, I command them in the name of Jesus, be lifted, be opened, be lifted in the name of Jesus. By uncommon mercy of the Lord, hear the voice of the Lord. By uncommon mercy of the Lord, every, every adversary before you, they will become your stepping stone. Listen, every adversary before you will become your stepping stone. By the uncommon mercy of the Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, every adversary, every stopping block will become your stepping stone into your glory, into your blessing, into your wonders, into your breakthrough, into your celebration. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, just continue stressing for your two hands. I declare by the common message of the Lord, let your weak hand receive strength. Your weak hand receive strength. Strength to prosper. Strength to prosper. Strength to be above. Strength to prosper. Your weak hand by the common message of the Lord, receive strength. Receive strength. Receive strength, receive strength, receive strength, receive strength, receive strength, receive strength. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. No, I want you to type it I move into a new glory by uncommon mercy. I move into a new glory by uncommon mercy. I move into a new glory. By uncommon mercy, I move into a new glory. I want you to just tap it as we round up. By uncommon mercy, I move into a new glory. I move into a new glory. I move into a new glory. By uncommon mercy, I move into a new glory. I begin to de demonstrate the supernatural. By uncommon mercy, say it, say it and type it there. I begin to demonstrate the supernatural. I begin to demonstrate the supernatural. I begin to de demonstrate the supernatural. By uncommon mercy, I begin to demonstrate the supernatural. In the mighty name of Jesus, I begin to demonstrate the supernatural. Type it there. By uncommon mercy, I begin to demonstrate the supernatural. As from this moment, as from this time, I begin to demonstrate the supernatural. I begin to demonstrate the supernatural all around. Yes, I begin to demonstrate supernatural all around. I begin to demonstrate the supernatural all around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we bless your name. Father, we give you praise. We thank you for tonight. We thank you for tonight. 
We thank you for tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Before we close tonight, we have four days to go. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I want you to make up your mind that you're going to stay throughout these four days. 30 days, you know, today, tonight is the 26th night. We have four more days to go. You cannot afford to miss any of these four days. I encourage you to invite your friends, invite your relatives, invite your family. Let us do this together for the remaining four days. Let us do it together. And I know that God will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Before we round up tonight, don't forget the man of God that God used to bless us two so, Thursdays ago. You know, God instructed him that we should give our seed, an offering, they call it seed of mercy. And you can see our account number on this broadcast. You know, as God lays it in your heart, you know, give as God has laid it in your heart. We are not compelling you to give what you don't have. But as God laid it in your heart, just make sure that you give. We have been on this journey for 26 days. And today is the 26th day and we have more, four more days to go. I pray that everything that you have received tonight shall be permanent in your lives in the mighty name of Jesus. You have enjoyed uncommon mercy tonight. Throughout your lifetime, you will enjoy this in the mighty name of Jesus. This favor is canceled over your destiny. Failure is canceled over your destiny. Wastage is canceled over your destiny. You have moved into a new glory of abundance, of supernatural, in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 7 p.m. tomorrow, don't forget. 7 p.m. tomorrow, connect with us, invite your friends, and don't forget that we are leaning on you to share this broadcast as you connect. Share it and uh, uh, you know, host a watch party. You know, immediately you connect or you join. Just share it immediately. We are depending on you to share our broadcast. So to partner with us for these four, four days, four remaining days that we have. And we pray that the Lord will announce you to your generation in the mighty name of Jesus. So I'll be expecting you tomorrow by the grace of God. And I pray that God of all grace will be with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we share the grace in fellowship? May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Point to yourself. Say this to yourself. Surely, His goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Hey, man, God bless you. See you tomorrow by 7 p.m. UK time. God bless you. Amen.